Okay, the first part's very simple. If we use um, the potential energy equation for basically universal law of gravitation, um, UG is equal to negative um, M1. Oh, I'm sorry, whoops. Big G, M1, M2, over R. And it's not over R squared. The potential energy is over R. Uh, in case you're wondering why, on a little side note, I will say, remember that F sub G was equal to big G, M1, M2, over R squared, right? Well, what is, oops, what is PEG? It's equal to force, um, force times distance, right? It's like work. So if the distance is r, it's equal to f times r of g. And what's fg? That's fg. So if you multiply this times r, the r cancels. So this r cancels there. You get one. That's where that comes from. So back to here, we're just going to plug in stuff now. Uh, got 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. Um, and it's newtons meter squared per kilogram squared. <coughs> and then we're multiplying that by the mass of the Earth, which is 5.98 times 10 to the 24. Multiplying that by the mass of the Moon, which is 7.35 times 10 to the 22. And then we're dividing all of that by 3.84 times 10 to the 8 meters. 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 times 5.98 times 10 to the 24th times 7.35 times 10 to the 22nd. And then dividing all that by 3.84 times 10 to the 8th. And then we get 7.63 times 10 to the 28th Newton. Or, sorry, just kidding. Not newtons, but in fact, I guess I could put newton meters if I wanted to. But uh, joules would be that potential energy. Now, would I expect that the moon's kinetic energy to be less or greater? Do you see there'd be less? If it was greater, the moon wouldn't stay here anymore. It's, it has to be less. Otherwise, um, if it exceeds the potential energy between Earth and the moon, phew, the moon leaves. Now, the kinetic energy of the moon is going to be one half m v squared. How fast does the moon rotate? It goes, um, what is it like? Once every 28 days, I think. So the velocity of the moon is 2 pi r in 28 days. But we have to convert all that junk to meters per second. So we're going to go with 2 pi times r, which is 3.84 times 10 to the 8th, divided by... 28 times 24 times 3600. 28 days, 24 hours, 3600 seconds. And so we get 997 meters per second. So I take that times 0.5 times, oh, just kidding. I have to take that squared times 0.5 times the mass of the moon, which is 7.35 times 10 to the 22. And we get 3.65 times 10 to the 28 joules. And we can see that that is indeed less than that, and thus the moon stays perfect.